Now we're joined by Dietrich Schrankebart. Good evening to you. Good evening, Tessie. So tell me, we're going to begin with your own story in The Guardian. The headline is, is this how Corbynism will play out in the government? And the quote from your own article is, both sides assume the Prime Minister, Jeremy Corbyn, will be defined, that Prime Minister Jeremy Corbyn will be defined by his radicalism. Yet, in one corner of Britain, an arm of the state is already ruling in his name and the early results are sobering. What is this? Ah, well... So if the big question at the moment is what would a Corbyn government look like, I think you already have a test case going on in North London Borough of Haringey, which is uh, declared as being the Corbyn Council. And when the now council leader uh, was elected in May, he made a speech and he said, we will now define over the next four years what this mythical beast, a Corbyn Council, looks like. What does it look like? Well, it's just come up to its first big scandal. Now, this takes a bit of telling, so bear with me, but it is fascinating. On the gateway to Haringey, by Seven Sisters Tube Station, about 15 minutes from here, on the tube, uh, there's something called a Latin village. From outside, it looks like utter crap, but you walk in, it's complete magic. There's about 60 stalls uh, with wooden balconies, eaves, and there's Argentine beef on sale, there's Colombian empanadas, there's coffee, there's salsa, there's uh, you know, yep, constant yep, yep. music. Um, the UN love it. They want to preserve it. Um, if this were New York, half of Brooklyn would be there every weekend and it would be the subject of its own Netflix series. What does Haringey do? Well, a few years ago it decided it would allow the entire lot to be knocked down and replaced with a Costa, a Pizza Express and nearly 200 homes, of which not one would be social rental. Now, this, it would seem to me, would be a clear example of where a Corbyn council on the side of the people very mindful of the pressures of gentrification, would be stepping in to intervene. What do they do? Not a bit of it. The council leader's appointed as his, his member for regeneration, a guy who's so cosy with the property developers, he was suspended as a councillor a few years ago for being too cosy. They send down enforcement officers a couple of weeks ago to crack down on traders. They find one mine infraction, it's a nail bar run by a pregnant woman. Uh, she's embarrassed, humiliated. She ends up not knowing what she's meant to be doing. So. The council's not here to defend itself, I would say, but I think I've you've made the case, I think you made the case very clearly yeah. for what you're saying in your article. So let's move on now. 